In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the share tractor groups functionality of the SoundCloud Manager software. You'll find this functionality under the share to groups button right here. Now for this functionality, what you will need to do is firstly select the account you would like to use and then enter the track URL of that you would like to share later to the selected account. If you do not know the URL, simply click the track search button. The program will go scrape all tracks related for that user. Here we can see I only have one track. I am going to demonstrate how to use the search for groups and share to a random selection of those groups. So you enter the group search term as such then we'll need to specify how many groups we would like to share this track to. The limit for a free SoundCloud account is 75, but you can share this track to a lesser number if you wish. For this example, I'm only going to share the track to 10 groups. And the other option is the number of days to share the track to the group. Once these days have passed, the track will be unshared and then either shared to other, gr other groups that were found or reshared to the same groups. By resharing to the same groups, the track will then be placed at the top of the display of shared tracks for that group. So once we have set everything up, we will simply click the search groups button. An action will be created and added to the processing tab back here where we can see our track has been shared so we will start the processor and by double clicking we will see that the account will log in we will search groups for our process and then start to share the track to those groups Just while the search process runs, I'm going to pause this tutorial and we'll come back to it in a few moments. As we can see now, the search is completed and the track is now being shared to a selection of the groups found and then pausing for a time as between the specified values. Now let's just pick a track, a group, sorry, and ensure that the track is being shared. So. Okay, and here we go. Here's the track we selected at the top of the list of tracks shared to the group. And if we just go to the track page, we will see these groups appearing in the list of groups this track has been shared to. So now the track is shared to six groups. And that's how you share a track to a random selection of groups as found via searching. If you would like to find out more information on the shared track to groups functionality, please see our other tutorials on our YouTube channel or come to the forum at rootjazz.com forum. Thank you very much.